Hi guys, this is Konana, and this is going to be my first VOD for quite a while now. It's going to be my first commentary, and this is going to be Bisu vs. Savior, Zerg vs. Protoss, on the map, Sin Peaks of Big 2. It's a very nice map. It's a two-player map, um, though it does have a few uh, differences from regular maps. Um, I'm really excited to see this game. This is for the IEF finals. And um, Savior and Bisu are very, very amazing players. But it seems that Savior's reign of rule has sort of ended at this point. Um, first ending when Bisu defeated him in the MSL finals a while ago with his very, very nice build, in which he goes Corsairs into Dark Templars. But um, we'll see how this pans out right now. Um, in those three games uh, for the MSL finals, when Bisu defeated Savior, Savior was being very, very stubborn and not learning from his mistakes. So that's why he lost 3 0. So let's see if he actually um, tries to adapt to the build that Bisu does this turn. And you see that Bisu is still pretty much following his same build order where he does a fast expand. And um, we'll have to, I can't wait to see this game. This should, be, this should turn out to be a very amazing matchup. And the scouting probe is finally coming here. Um, I, I'm a little bit curious if there may be a uh, cannon rush because it was very, very effective when Nalra did it to him. Though I don't think that Bisu would have to do this because Bisu could probably beat Savior quite well, anyways, because he has a very, very good ZVP. So, right now, we see that Savior is not taking his expansion as natural, um, opting to take this expansion over here at the 5 o'clock position. This is a little bit strange. Probably knew that the probe was going to be there. So, Bisu probably knows there's another expansion coming up because there is no uh, no spawning pool. So, I don't really agree with Savior. I think he should have probably just sent two drones out because by doing this, it's going to be a little bit harder to send out drones to mine it. But the main thing is, it's very, very hard to defend. Unlike other maps, like Longinus, where you have a pretty close mineral only, uh, the closest expansion on this map, Sin Peaks of Big Do, is pretty, pretty far. So I think it's going to be a little bit risky to make an expansion that far. And that's one of the reasons that Savior lost in the MSL Finals, was that he overextended himself too much, as Noni and Day have pointed out. So the fast expand is coming up here for Bisu. Bisu opted to get the Nexus first, seeing that there's a late pool. Um, that's pretty nice. And uh, I think he's just getting his forge right now. So, at this point, Savior still has not gone as natural, and Bisu knows there's something very, very fishy going on. He definitely knows that there's probably an expansion somewhere else, as I've said. Um, we see that the broadcaster is toggling the settings a little bit. And uh, finally, the natural comes up for Savior. I don't think it was that late, but it was definitely going to be very, very suspicious to Bisu, because... Uh, that was a pretty late hatchery, and, and the, except for the fact that Saber did get this expansion over here. Now the first Zerglings popping out, six Zerglings, and uh, Bisu quickly making a cannon. Uh, that cannon's in a pretty, pretty bad position in my opinion. Uh, broadcaster's still toggling, because his Terran music's pretty loud. So, only one cannon is up here, and it's in a very bad position in my opinion right now. Uh, Bisu is does see that the Zerglings are coming. He's getting up another cannon, but I think that Savior could actually run through. He needs to pull some probes, and Bisu does pull some probes out to defend it, so the cannons are not destroyed. However, I still really, really don't agree with that expansion. That's a very risky position. Um, those Zerglings could run straight up. Hydros could easily destroy it. Three Hat Zerglings could really destroy it. It's a very bad position, and I, I think that may cost Bisu the game if he does not get uh, something a little... He doesn't fix that, but uh, depends on how Savior plays right now. Bisu still keeping a scout inside Savior's base, so he's going to see that there's no lair yet, which probably will hint at uh, Hydra's or uh, Three Hat Speedling. So I think that Saber does notice that this this placement is pretty crappy, but um, the probe is about to die. I think the scout does die, so Bisu is not gonna have a scout inside the base at this point. Um, I think yeah, there's a hydra stand right there. So we're gonna see here that there's gonna be quite a few hydras coming up right now, 
And, uh, I think I see some more units from Bisu coming up over here. Now, Stargate's coming up right now, which is... De this is definitely looking exactly how Bisu would play, which is he gets his Corsairs. Uh, Zealot actually blocking the route there, which is pretty nice. This map is pretty strange. Uh, it's not... It's not strange, it's just a little bit different from other maps in that the middle is very very hard to navigate through. Only small units like Zerglings and Hydrisks can go through there. Uh, and large units like Lurkers cannot go through the middle, they have to take the side routes. So it's going to take a little bit longer for any attacks, big attacks to come to the enemy. And um, I think that right now Bisu is still in a risky position and he kind of knows this. So he's getting up another cannon, he's getting up some buildings to block that area. And he's purposely showing that the Citadel of a Dune is coming up, which pretty much means Dark Templars because at this point it seems that Bisu is doing exactly what he usually does. We see a scouting probe coming in from Bisu. Bisu is going to see this expansion here. Savior does not manage to kill the probe in time, so the probe does know that the expansion is there. What I think that Savior needs to do right now is get an Overlord and a Sunken right now. Because he sees that Citadel, and uh, that's definitely going to turn out to some Dark Templars. More cannons going up right now. Bisu knows his position is not very good. His positioning is pretty crappy at this point. Um, and these Hydras could really destroy it easily, so he has to get a lot more. Now, um, first Corsair out. Second Corsair is also out. Uh, what Bisu likes to do is get a, quite a few Corsairs and take it the adv air advantage, kill overlords, and then send Dark Templars in when the enemy doesn't have much detection, which is a pretty solid build from what we've seen from um, Bisu so far. So Bisu's still getting a lot of cannons, and he's still trying to go around and shoot down any overlords. Uh, he's also taking some scouting and he's gonna notice that the slayer is up so lurkers are gonna come pretty soon as well so we see that that was a pretty nice pressure there by savior he does delay bisu a little bit because because of that um, those minerals that bisu had to spend on the cannons so bisu is gonna have a little bit delayed tech but um, I'm not sure when those Dark Templars are coming out, <clears throat> because with these Corsairs out, it's going to be a little bit risky. Uh, you can see here that Savior is clumping all his overlords together so they can be protected. Um, but Bisu is not producing any more Corsairs, sometimes he gets quite a few more. Um, in the MSL games, on Lost Temple, he had about 12 Corsairs, and they are able to kill very quickly. Okay, so we see a Dark Templar here, but an Overlord is here, and a Sunken is also here. Another Dark Templar around over there. So I don't think they're going to be able to do any damage, but um, i got to pause this right here.